like that. You like that. I like that. That is very offensive. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tag Lab, where four friends sit down and talk about pretty much anything. I'm Tyler, and like always, I, I said fins. <laughs> uh, where I'm normally, I'm surrounded by. F- I am always nine people. Nine right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm surrounded by th- three beautiful friends. How are you, Chris? Doing good. Awesome. How are you, Thomas? Oh, uh, I learned that I inspired Jeffrey Bezos this week. How so? He has the same belt that I wear. Nice. I saw that belt. That company's Ooh. proud that he wore yeah. that belt. Hold on, let me. They said our belt is space approved. Yeah, the, uh, the rips, the grip six. Oh, it's not you a had groove. it first. It's a groove belt. What's Just, on the back? Nothing. It has nothing on the back. Oh. What's so special about that belt? It's a grip six. See, when you uh, hashtag not it's not sponsored when you when you put it in like that, and you do that, it pulls it because it sticks against your belly. Huh. So there's, only Williams had that. There's no uh, grooves, there's no latches, no buckles. Like, so you had this before he had this. Yeah, and then it went to fucking space. Is now this it's space the same, approved. Is this the same dude that makes the Ridge Wallet or something? Probably. <laughs> but I did it before Bezos did it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> you just need a cowboy hat, dude. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> she, she, she got the flame titanium one. I know, they didn't have the cobalt one that they do now. She had a I cobalt. Guess, I guess his Amazon money sponsored that. He be funded Cobalt. Anyway. <laughs> That's close. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. He sounds it. like Goofy when he talks, too. Yeah. Gorge. I can't wait to go to space. Gorge. Like to Gorge. Walk the plank on my Amazonian. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah, brother. You Heck gotta, yeah. You gotta remember, though, this was like a book nerd in the 90s. And he probably still is. He still is. Yeah, but. No, he's a box nerd. Yeah, but now he's doing that Bill Gates shit. Hitler read too. What? Trying to save the world? <laughs> no. Trying like, to leave the world. No, like harass his underage interns and stuff. Is not that what underage? Bill sorry, said? not underage. Underage for him. He's he's above the underage. Oh, we're doing that whole thing where he's like fifty and they're twenty. You can't do that. Yeah, no, you can do it because you're a billionaire. <laughs> they just want the Bezos money. I mean, I don't blame him. Would you suck his dick for twenty million? Probably in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> 20, I might. I probably that. would. You 20, put a 20, twenty million cash. You put he's a twenty like, stack down right in front of me, and it's like not taxed. Not taxed. Twenty million. No cash. tax. You got finishes paid. in the mouth. It's yeah, 20 million. Bro, I'm not getting like descriptive. I'm just saying. That I need like, descriptions. Well, I don't know. Somebody said has that, to finish in your mouth. Has to swallow. Can't know. spit it out. I don't know. Somebody said that men know how to suck dick better because they have one. I don't know. If that that's probably true. That's right. I don't think that's true. <laughs> that's probably that's true. true. I don't know if if I if I know how I like my dick to get sucked, I don't think I'm going to suck a dick just like that. I'm not going to go ham on a dick. But I know the mindset because like we have one, we know what to do. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm going to do what I need to do. All right. How you doing, Alex? Uh, <laughs> pretty good. Um, yeah. You know cherry lifesaver? I'm good. Okay. I got there might be a couple cherry ones in there. Thank you. Yeah, there's cherry. I'd rather go to Jerusalem and squat in a Palestinian's house. You can throw a cherry <laughs> lifesaver in, it'll make that blow job seem a little better. Oh, an ice cube or a mint uh, mint. That's better for them. I was saying like to make it better cube? for you. Yeah, ice does okay. Ice does or some pop rocks. Never had that. that. Never had that. What? It, you can't okay. <laughs> Pop rocks on your dick? Yeah, you never had a girl eat pop rocks and suck your dick. I ain't met a girl who eats pop rocks. Well, me either. Most but the, it was the it demographic was... are still in elementary school. This yeah, is... they like warheads. <laughs> but I had candy. Or Thomas ice traded or a couple watermelon warheads for the, the pop rocks. For it. <laughs> I'll like, give you a couple of warheads for my pop rocks. Does it make it pop like fizzy? Like Alka Seltzer? It's just little little oh, okay. little snap and crackles going on. All right, so for twenty Did million, do- he's got to finish in my mouth, right? You're making yes. these rules, dude. Yes, yes, he has to finish yes. twice, either in, your, in mouth. your mouth or on your face. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Jeez. Would you do that? It's only face, though. He's not like doing butt stuff. I rather have butt stuff. <laughs> there, there's, there's a, you'd rather take it up the ass and put then have it in your mouth. I ain't sucking no dick. <laughs> you could pretty much black out for a for an ass raping, probably. <laughs> But I'm glad the, we started the episode this way. The, the mouth is very romantic and involved. That's like no-no zone. It's off limits. Special if you people. black out, he can basically just rape your face. 
So just believe in yourself and maybe you could black out. <laughs> believe in myself. Oh, the old Trevor Bauer approach. <laughs> <laughs> he just hangs your head off the side of the bed and just. Now, do you pour the Pop Rocks in while you're on top thrusting? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you don't put Pop Rocks in the pussy. You're like working it in with your no, no, fingers. No, no, no. You're doing, you're doing the do- over top 69. <laughs> you dump the Pop Rocks in her mouth while oh, the, you're on top. The, the Thomas 69. Pumping the Thomas 69. <laughs> while you're pumping from the top, do you pump Pop Rocks in her you mouth? You sprinkle a little bit in and then you, then you <laughs> shaft With in. a little Coca-Cola and then you just okay, fucking put it down on there. The Pop Rocks thing oh, is more of a... Oh, menthol and Diet Coke? Yeah. <laughs> 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 The, the Pop Rocks thing. You imagine it coming out of the sides of your dick. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you dump Diet Jeez. Coke in a menthol. A, uh, it would mentos, shoot up your dick. Dude, and then you, shove like... your, you shove your dick in there and you hold her down and it shoots out her ears. <laughs> <laughs> Usually with Pop Rocks, it's not a 69 situation. It's a she's kind of controlling the head bobbing situation. I figure. I was just trying to make up a skit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you were going for. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> now, anyway. I've never done coke and mentos like cocaine. It's like you just do that and you just hold her ears in her mouth with your dick and just see what happens. It just comes <laughs> out of her nose. It's like oh. it would come out of her nose. It would. And her, maybe ducks. her eyes, yeah. The tear ducks like Chris said. <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> like total recall at the end. That might be on the internet somewhere. That'd be terrible. You ever get like water in your ear? It's bad. Yeah. You imagine that being Coca-Cola? Yeah, if you ever burp through your nose, that burns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a burp of soda. Mm-hmm. Imagine menthol or a Mentos and I keep saying menthols. They're illegal now. Mentos and Coke. We're doing it. Well, I've. Uh, I don't know. You don't have to. I've used. Remember the... what happened last time you did that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it. I've used like a nasal cleaner where you put like this little salt water solution in a thing and you put shoot it in your nose and shoot it. I think you gotta go to the images, Thomas. Uh, so, I get it. What are you looking at there? Whoa. Wait, wait. Oh, oh no. It was a butt. Hey, 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 hey. Third, <laughs> it's going at their butt. Third, third row, fourth picture. Is that Randy? Is that Furious Pete over there? <laughs> Is that Good Randy? The cheeseburgers, Randy. I think that's Furious Pete drinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. there's a lot here. There's a lot. There's so much going on. There's a little, to, a little bit to unpack. We'll, we'll come so back. To that, lady, that lady was holding on to a little penis. I don't think y'all noticed that one. I didn't see she that was one. giving a little penis a blowjob. See the... Fourth one, second row, fourth oh, yeah. one down. So, oh, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. the it's the fingers that you. Oh, that's. Can t- <laughs> you can tell it's and Dude. there's no nudity. You can click on that and make it bigger. There, oh, I promise you, there's no nudity. There, yeah, but there's, then there's, there's nudity. Below it. <laughs> <laughs> All the other ones. <laughs> and you can see his ball sack. Dang, so, you why I mean, the other ones have to ruin, ruin it? Just a sack. <laughs> like why is that ass. going up everyone's ass? <laughs> why not? <laughs> because that's the geyser point. It goes like up your intestines. And you shoot it out the asshole. Yeah, you can save it and then <laughs> shoot it out. Well, it'll go down just a little bit more. Hey, pop rocks. There you go. Yeah. Probably because your ass doesn't have a hey, delicate that one. That's a nice picture that you would ruin. What the uh, blowjob? Yeah, one? the blow ones. I like that face. Yeah. <laughs> I've yet to see I the like, geyser like happen. One. Yeah, look at that burping mentos, the tattoos on the far left. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't seen a geyser yet. I'm, I'm getting off of this. <laughs> I bet there was a geyser in there. Too one. early in the episode for the that. The fourth one was a geyser. There was a lot of weird the shit one, going on right there. Yeah, there was a guy. The one with the pre- uh, I thought the geyser. The one with the pregnant lady, I think, was going to be legit. Who knows? That could have been a guy. There was We've more seen m- babies go up men. Yeah, there was more man ass with Coke bottles than I needed to see on that list. Oh. A little bit. If you can put a baby in your ass, you can put a full two amount, liter. two liter of Coke and a few Mentos up there, too. And just bend over, get into position, and let it rock it out. Like fucking Tom and Jerry's go shooting across the room. <laughs> I would try it if we wanted to do a TikTok. <laughs> what, mint, Coke and Mentos up your ass? I mean, I could get I could get that. I could push a couple Mentos in there and then get that into my ass, I think, but that only. I guarantee that and you then, will not get that bottle in your ass by did, the time it explodes. Dude, you're probably going to get the doctor when you my, get done. My fucking turds are bigger than that. Yeah, but that's coming out. How often are you <laughs> It's in? even screwed. I can literally screw dude, it into you, my ass. That's going to give you another anal fissure. Yeah. yeah I don't know about... I'll get something that ru- I can get Elizabeth to give muscle a rub on muscle oh, relaxer. You need something because I don't know about you, but I can't just like readily insert. You're going I'll just have to rub it a little bit first. You gotta massage it. it. You use a padded finger and you. Oh, of course. That's what I've not done. Yeah, you gotta use the pad your finger first, and then would you go two you, fingers. Would you wear latex gloves and help? 
I'll help you. It's a latex glove. (laughs) You won't fucking even look at my belly when I showed you guys my scars. <laughs> You're not I'm a man. I ain't yeah. looking at nobody's fucking stomach. <laughs> Says the guy that wants to look at muscled up guys is like, a, we like we were looking at Arnold in here the other day and his beautiful yeah. biceps and pecs. So <laughs> that's more gay than looking at me and my yeah. post op holes. Pee Wee Herman had those kind of magazines and he looked at them all the time. Well, it's, it's not gay to is, look. This isn't about Pee Wee. This is about Alex. <laughs> Paul Rubin, you mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, is it? Ha, have you got your second shot? Yeah. You already had it Thanks last week. Thanks for outing me to everybody. We out you every episode. Well, three in a row now. I'm not vaccine shaming you. It's fine. Yeah, yeah you no, no, no. I'm just wondering. I didn't how say anything. Yeah, Thomas sent in a text. He's like, I can't believe Chris done this. <laughs> Do I don't, don't say that. Care. I'm very proud of you, Chris. You gotta no, be you, man. No. You, you have to be you. How do you feel? Still good? My arm doesn't hurt anymore. That's good. Cool. Did There's leave any marks or anything, or like no. any bruises or anything? I, like, I'm just asking. Like, no, actually. my There's, arm hurt like a son bitch though. Yeah. There's people getting getting the the Delta variant. So is that something you're like watching out for and being careful with? Not anymore. But you can still get sick. Oh yeah. You. Well, everybody can still get sick. I guess it reduces your chances of like serious, like serious dying. complications. But there's like there's a whole fire department here locally that got sick, right? Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Eventually. And the one guy was one guy was vaccinated, and he's like on life support now. Right, yeah. It's like a roll of dice, you know. Sometimes yeah. stuff helps. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the seatbelt saves you. Sometimes it cracks your neck and kills you. <laughs> yeah. You know. It seriously does. Yeah. That is true. It gives you a bad burn. Yeah, but, even those. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I figured like you know, point one, 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 one chance, whatever it was. Yeah, whatever. I, I see the, the now in the five way years. You're at it. In five years, when it's like your sperm glows in the dark. Yeah, it's like you don't need a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, that is the problem I've been worrying about. Is it gonna yeah. make you fertile or infertile? What we'll makes super fertile? Or hor- that would piss me off. I've or your, heard, I've heard it, uh, it's fucking with women's cycles. I can believe that. Peer- oh, wow. It's fucking with that. They either have like three in one month or they don't have any for like three months. I haven't heard that. It, it's uh, another rare instance. Conspiracy? Congratulations. No, no. You it's not a conspiracy. It's one of the rare side effects of COVID Tight vaccine. Death. Or a heart attack. Yeah, like the, like it gives people, some people have, uh, men get heart issues, but it's like point zero 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 one percent of men. Mm-hmm. But they've noticed it in like 20 people out of the millions that have had it. Yeah, and very it's the low. athletes too, because they're like, after you get the second one, it's like, don't go don't go lift, run, don't go lift weights now. Yeah, so, ever or for a while, <laughs> for like you know, rest of your life. <laughs> your you're athlete, well you're, you're take a your career done, done, resign. We thought we'd tell you after Actually, your second that dose. Makes sense why a bunch of football <laughs> players and stuff are pissed. Mm-hmm. Like I thought about it in hindsight. Are they forcing them to get this? It's going to turn that way. Because they're going to final now. Be. They should define the it's like fourteen grand. Yeah, if yeah. they break Once? protocol. One time fine or every year or Probably every time. Every time they break protocol. Every time. So I mean, like Aaron Rodgers and them, they can just do whatever, but he's going to Denver. You think you still think so? What is protocol? Social distancing, so. like safe stuff? The or? same stuff as last year. I, wearing a mask, like whatever, all that? Whatever we do, it doesn't work. Yeah. Team USA kept dropping like flaws. How many is out? Like every day somebody else was out of Team USA with COVID. Or a failed drug test. No, that was the runner. Still, we have right. had we had the burrito. No, that's one more yeah, we lost. Steroids from uh, burritos. Uh, that Chipotle man. It's no, a I person think she's lost. Actually, the... she said she did it. She's just like, I smoke weed, whatever. Yeah, I'm talking about, the, oh, white, talking, I'm talking yeah. about the white lady that ate the burrito that had steroids in it. Oh, she had steroids in her system. Do you that girl with pink hair? No, that soccer player. No, no, she, no, she she's no. A, a representation of the country. Yeah, that's Rapino. I've been seeing a lot of conflicting things saying they lost on purpose. To protest abuse and discrimination. I watched the game. They fucking lost the shit out of that, and they tried not to. They weren't. Oh, they're going to say they, they don't protest. Yeah, they, they, fucking... weren't, they weren't attempting to fucking lose. Why would you lose to France? Uh, we, we. Like, like, what kind of protest is that? I guess they're just saying that someone said that they were losing at the beginning to show that they're not willing to win any matches. Mm. Just as a show, a show of force, a show of protest. I mean. No, if they was like throwing games to Israel or something. 
<laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I could see that. I could see that. They lost the fuck out of that match. How many so. Muslim countries are at the Olympics? I don't know. I'm just... Like just like does Israel do play against like Sudan or somebody? I know there's an Iraq team. Super enemies. Out the, there I, the I know the, the Iraq basketball team's solid. Do they have a women's division though, or is it just the men? I don't know about that. It's do just them wearing like, dress like ghosts. They have the, uh, <laughs> down the court. <laughs> do they have like, man, Al- these teams are bomb, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Do they have an Al Qaeda <laughs> like bomb. basketball team or a soccer team? Um they, they, just, have a, they hit the goat head around horse. I think <laughs> that's what After they practice they with. Them. Oh, they got the polio team. Yeah, if you get good at kicking, a, you get good at kicking a goat head. You're going to be really good at kicking a soccer ball. Who wins? Fucks the goat. Fucks the goat's throat, like the cut off head. Call him throat goat. Throat Ugh. goat. Ugh. Well, <laughs> um, Thanksgiving turkey. There. Do you all do you all think that the whole soccer player fiasco thing is just a bunch of bullshit? What happened to soccer players? Yeah, I don't heard that. I don't watch football. No, the 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 <laughs> thing about them. Losing on purpose. Oh, I thought you were talking about basketball. Soccer. Soccer fiasco. Football. Baseball. What? Soccer's football. Fencing. There's more European countries in America. Did you see the yes. uh, South South Korea victory salute? What was was it? it a Hell Hitler thing? Like, no, they... <laughs> South yeah. Korea? South Korea won archery and they just went Hell Hitler. They did? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, I want to see that. <laughs> Is there a North Korea in there? I don't think they're allowed to. Are they allowed? <laughs> uh, they're not in there, no. I mean, they probably don't have a team. It's like North Korea and Belarus are not allowed to be at the Olympics, yeah. right? If they lose, they just get. They they're, kill the team. Yeah, their <laughs> government wouldn't allow them to be there because they would be outside the country. I thought North Korea had uh, think, like weightlifting and stuff. Maybe. Because like, they force. China does. I know they, they do. Thomas can look it up. I got you. Y'all I keep mean, talking. Do they participate maybe in the Pan Asian Olympics? It's just the omen. Uh, there is. There's like a. There's a separate. Uh, and it's like an island competition. It's like all, a peaceful. It's like the the meet in the middle island where you have where I you can declare like uh, Australia and all the Asian little peoples in, in that area. I like how is the Democratic People's Republic the audacity? Twenty thirty two. What? Yeah. Oh, well, they they got a medal? Not, they're not. Well, uh, go, go, they, go back. Go back. Did go. that say North Korea uh, had a silver? Tokyo did not participate. But they got a silver medal, right? Yeah, 1964. Good on them. That's the only medal they have. But think about it. That one guy is probably like the king of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 They probably threw him in a fucking cell and beat the shit out of him. No. They're like, you can't be more popular no. than this fucking he other. He got a silver medal. He they went. took him back into a cage and sent him to a breeding camp. <laughs> yeah. <they're> like, <laughs> <laughs> they studded him out. <laughs> <laughs> they suck to come. They suck so much come out of that guy. <laughs> so I guess they do participate in the Olympics. Not this year though, but they did. They used to. It did, yeah. Our, I do think it's funny sucked. when they're doing the opening ceremony and you see like a hundred and fifty from United States. You see like two from South Korea. Yep. Two from fucking Bangladesh. There's a lot from Ghana. Mm-hmm. Is there? Did you guys hear about the condom situation? They ran they out give... within like the first couple days. Holy shit! Did you read how many they gave out? A lot, right? Like in Rio, they gave out four hundred and fifty thousand condoms. Cause they're all so how many, fucking. How many athletes were there? So, like, I did the napkin math, and they gave out enough for about every woman to take eighty loads. Oh my god! Well, every I night they're fucking somebody. I figured they're, the, the gays yeah, they're and doing lesbians would international cancel out. Fucking. Cancel out. They're probably. I was thinking about it because they got their athlete village that they all live in. Right. They got cardboard beds though. Well, they, they probably yeah, don't time. have the, – the athletes are probably having sex with each other, but then they're probably having more sex with fans when they go out to the bars, bringing back girls that are just all enamored. Jap- all the Japanese people? Ooh. I doubt this happened in Japan. What? You don't you don't think so? I, do you think they're picking up Japanese Let girls? Let me talk to you about good old WW2. Yeah. They have uh, Douglas MacArthur had the preoccupation of Japan over there. Uh-huh. A lot of whiteies got it on with them. Japan has vending machines that have panties in them. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, but those vending machines are probably owned by. Yeah, but they man. don't like the gaijins. <laughs> Geishas? Uh, Geijin. Yes. The what girls. Are, what is it? Gaijin. What are they the, call white people. Dude, I would Gash, the, Gashin Impact. That game. The girls they probably, probably had over there. Girls are tired of getting molested on the train to work you by s- Asian men. Yeah. You saw more Vietnamese wives than you ever True. saw Japanese wives. Yeah, I agree. If any of us go over to Japan, they instantly see. 
American dude, big that, that's tall, and they're like, big oh, oh, hey, you'll, you'll, I doubt that because they're all shorter than <laughs> yeah, the people in Japan are shorter than everybody else. What so, you do? So there's a few tall ones. There he one plays in few. the basketball. And one plus, plays the, in the NBA. Are you talking about Roy Hashimura. They got no. him above, uh, well, North, uh, yeah. <laughs> the other one. Well, plus they're regular yeah. people too. I Who mean, are you talking about? The guy in the NBA that was tall as fuck. Yao Ming's Chinese. Yao Ming. <laughs> That's Chinese. Dude, Jeremy Lin's Chinese. He's not. Yeah, they're not Jap- Japan. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're on the other side of the other side of the water. Right, their eyes right, are right, all, right, right, right. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a up, down. Oops. It's up sideways down. Well, they have different folds in their skin. Up sideways down. I imagine if we four <laughs> go over there and walk the streets of Japan and go to over to Tokyo, that no, we no, 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 no. Go watch Tokyo Drift. Yeah, they won't. I love that movie. Yeah, they're not going to do Tokyo Drift. No, I'm saying, no, 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 I'm saying. You can't be a corn fed (laughs) fucking big nippled guy from. (laughs) What do you mean I can't get the book? I'm the DK. No, if you go, like, look how all those. Look at all them Japans over there. They're looking at the white guy, and he got lampooned the entire time. Well, how come uh, they turned the black guy into a cuck? Because he was little Bow Wow. Yeah, but he was a black guy. But he wasn't big Bow Wow. Do you notice he didn't get with a Japanese girl? He got with a mixed lady. The, ja- the black guy? Uh, Little Bow Wow. No, the white guy. Oh. The whitey. He got with the uh, Mexican girl. Is that what she was? Yeah. Or, or she was like Filipino or something. I bet, yeah. I bet she wasn't Japanese. Whole, I bet she's <laughs> half, I bet she's like Spanish and That was the whole and thing and in Asian. the movie. They're like, find you a good Japanese girl. And he and never did. like, no. I you, think it was like another Mexican. Like I a, refuse. She was something that was not. <laughs> did you almost say Mexican? I think she was not. <laughs> I swear she's like she's Mexican not Oriental. and Asian together. Yeah, she's, she's like mixed. Cambodian. That's, that's Filipino. She's mixed. Yeah, the sea Mexicans. The sea Mexicans? Did I say that? No, you but just did. You did. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's going to cancel us? We have no sponsors. It is what it is. Wow. Uh, and I, I heard people call the Vietnamese jungle Asians. Is that wrong? Who said that on this podcast? <laughs> I've heard it from somebody. You, the World War, uh, the documentaries don't count. <laughs> My great grandfather. <laughs> uh, Killing Eastwood doesn't count. <laughs> He's the last great American. He called them jungle Asians and goose. I mean, technically, okay, technically, jungle Asians Dude, isn't that bad. That guy that you guys are thinking is like or the girl that you think's Mexican or whatever else she said. <laughs> yeah. She's Australian. Oh, God damn. We're way off. <laughs> well, oh, she was man. born in Australia, but find out what her parents were. She has a heritage, Chris. I could be Australian. I could be English. I could be North Korean, but Peruvian. Okay. okay, that's that's what it was. A South uh, American okay. Bob's. That that seems that <laughs> seems more legit than Australian. Did they ever explain why she was in Japan? Yeah, she was an army brat. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why was she like sleeping with the yakuza though? Because he took her under her his wing. She was yakuza too. You gotta, or gotta no, she was gaijin too. Work your working your yeah, way but, up, dude. You but gotta, what about the uh, the DK guy who's always looked pissed? He was like, that was just his eyes, Chris. <laughs> You I don't just know had like a. <laughs> he always That's... looked pissed. Like okay, you gotta do that now. Bite your lower lip and look no. at yeah. the camera. <laughs> he looked like a Tekken character. <laughs> you got you gotta say, "Hey, mamas, when you like, do it." He hey, was mamas. straight from Soul Calibur, I think. He was like the main fighting guy. Soul well, Calibur. Brian T. He does. <laughs> he still looks pissed. That's his eyes. He looks coy in that picture. Hey, mamas. This is what he's doing. I bet we could all go over to Japan and have a good time Probably. if we were all single. I want to go to the robot restaurant. What does the robot serve you food? <laughs> no, it's like a. <laughs> what? You ain't seen it? Look it up. I haven't it's, seen that. It's a restaurant. No, it's like, it's I, a, there's a show. It's I like robots you. fighting. It's like a. Oh, you watch show. Death While You Eat? You're eating, and it's like a. Chris Hardwick went to it. It was like cool. Robots sh- kill each other? They're like a stage thing. Oh, like no, that stage. makes sense because uh, during the halftime. Yeah, right there. Yeah. During the, during the halftime of the sure basketball game? They brought in a robot to like outshoot all the players. Yeah, it's like all neon lights and shit. Like you're, <laughs> it's a show. Like Japan's eating. all about the oh, robots, man. That's cool. Yeah, right there. That's it, right there. Did you see that's the three weird. point robot? Dude, that's sweet. No, that's what? During halftime, they brought out a three point robot. No, I didn't see that. That's all about like they're they like robots and tech. Yeah, dude, that's pretty cool. That's a little sexual, but that's pretty cool. Is this like medieval times in Japan? Dude, that's some Gundam shit right there. Dude, that's that's pretty <laughs> sweet. That's like Tron. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, wow, those are like straight up white girls in the back. They like they like, they like white people. In Look Japan. at the Gundam shit going on in this shit. In they this love fucking robots in Japan, dude. This looks pretty sweet. I w- that would be cool. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. I, I've always had a thing where it'd be cool to go to Japan for like a week. Yeah, same. yeah, 
Yeah, Elizabeth like, has wants to have nothing to do with it. She won't. Yeah, go like with we her. could all four go to Japan, single or not, and still have fun. <laughs> go there and like we used to own this place. <laughs> well, not us personally. Not us personally. We're just, on day two. we're just talking history over here. <laughs> we used to own this place. He's on Mount Fuji. We used to own this that's place. A, they're not even allowed that's to have a, a navy, real, right? That's, that's a, a, that's a doll. <laughs> that's a doll. That's not a real person. Could we go? Could we plan a trip? Is that something you guys see yourself doing, oh, or is it's, that it's way closed. is that way out of do, the line? When all this virus stuffs over, maybe. Yeah. Do they even let travel to their? Do they even let travel into Japan? China lets us go to. You can go to yeah. China. Yeah, we what should go to China. Where would you go to China? Though? Right, a what bullet city train would you go to? Beijing in China? or I'd go to like West China. See if I can see the Uyghurs. Yeah. Well, first we got to get out of this heat <laughs> dome that we're in. <laughs> yeah. it's... The heat dome or whatever it's called. <laughs> the, iron, <laughs> the iron dome? I was, I was going to just kind of just keep going. <laughs> I was not going to call back to it. I was just going to keep going. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. You said, you said the Mongols? Hard, hard the, W. It's fine. That's what they are. It's a hard W. Where are they? The, the, the Mongols? No, the Wiggers. You can say, Where? You can say that. Those guys, do, <laughs> the guys they're in concentration camps. The Chinese Muslims. Oh, they got them in concentration camps over there? <laughs> nobody, talk, nobody talks about Isn't that. Is this what they're calling? I didn't know that was a thing over there in Japan. So it's real. Not they Japan. Do they don't persecute oh. They persecute people in China. Yes. I thought that was a... If we went over there and broke the law, we'd be there for five years and there's nothing America could do kind about of frat, it. Oh, the kind of the frat guy that was brain dead in North Korea. They beat the shit out of him and they gave him back to him dead. Yeah. yeah. I, I would not want to go to Kong and kill somebody. You have my permission to, to die. die. <laughs> that's that's how the Hong Kong right. I'm not started. for look. If I could choose, I'm going to Japan because yeah, China yeah. blows ass. I mean, there's some cool stuff how in China. You know but China likes been. money. Yeah. Like you can go to China and have a yeah. good time. China, but, China would be okay, but I'd rather go to Japan. I feel like China's where you really you, you, all these stereotypes exist. Like they like white people. They do because they're like you're racist yeah. like us. Like it's you like, go let's over, do it, brother. You go over there, they'd yeah, be like. $10, I mean, we're $10. not racist, but. They're, they, they think we are. I think the poverty level is higher in Japan or no, lower in Japan. No you can way. shit in China. China, 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 China mm. has a higher poverty level than Japan. Yeah, yeah. So we would have a better time in China if you wanted to pick up a girl. Dude, China is just straight up baby America. I, I'd rather go yeah. to South Korea. You you would have a good time yeah. in China for less money. That's America. Like, That's a little America. Just join the military. Yeah. You get stationed there. You just stare at another North Korean. <laughs> I play salt with them. Like, hey. You're eating in a fucking. You're eating lunch in a hut down the street, and a, a pretty attractive prostitute walks in. But unbeknownst to you, she has five grenades up her oh. vagina. Walks over to your table, rubs you on the shoulder, and then Blows cell up. phone. Her vagina starts ringing for America. <laughs> Die for a good cause. Was like the Dark Knight? My bad is ringing. Wait, what country is that? He's saying there's Korea. Dirty bombs in South Korea. In South Korea, probably in the fifties. Not now. Yeah, not now. Who knows? Can I shine your shoes? Bomb and goes off over. Bomb goes the, off in Saudi Arabia. They got that thing demon. I thought South Korea is pretty racist against white people, though. I think are, are they, they. I think they oh, like. No. They don't know them. I don't know. I don't think they like us. I mean, it wasn't for us. They wouldn't exist. Well, yeah. I've got a couple friends. I mean, that, they better fucking pay respect when I come over there. I'm like, look, <laughs> if it wasn't for our ancestors and old WW two or a uh, Korean War, after that shit, we could own the whole Pacific. We didn't. Yeah, we could have leveled that fucking island. Mm -hmm. Which island? South All Korea. All three of them. That's Japan. A, peninsula. It we could have leveled it. We could have leveled Philippines. We could have leveled fucking Japan. We have we have ships that can shoot from 17 miles away a fucking bomb the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> we could level it. Yeah, watch out for them French nuclear submarines. We have yeah. suitcase nukes, dude. Well, supposedly Russia has first strike capabilities too, so... What you do is you send the tactical team in. Every man on that team has a suitcase bomb. Dirt, a little little suitcase nuke. It's like Valkyrie. This is a thing. Why don't you teach them to put it in their ass? It's in a suitcase. Why would you put it in nukes. your ass? It's a suitcase. Fucking idiot. Why would you do that? It's in I a suitcase. <laughs> it would totally defeat the purpose of suitcase nuke. Yeah, then you then don't look professional when you're walking through the fucking jungle, a tactical yeah. response team with then, suitcases. Then it would be an asshole nuke. <laughs> If you had it up your butt. I'd rather do the Starship Troopers and have just nuke grenades. <laughs> mm. You just put them on the end It's of your, probably no bigger. The, the suitcase nukes are pretty small. The grenade launchers that you just put a mini nuke on the front and you just thump. And you can't outrun it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like the shit and fall out. Yeah. It's like a slingshot with a nuke on right. it. Right. <laughs> just some shit like that. Just going through the jungle shooting nukes. 
Might as well at this point. I'd rather, well, I'd rather create technology where you can drop temporary black holes. That's what we should invent. Oh, that would up well, everything. I'm pretty sure they so do like that Chris, over at the particle definitely, separator. Definitely. I'm pretty sure the particle separator is capable of doing that. If we can just harness the power of a black hole, <laughs> we can control everything. See, I'm waiting for a billionaire to do that. Just like, screw space. I'm going to bring space to us. Or Bring, yeah. the gal- bring a wormhole to Earth. It's yeah, like Earth just or like, wormhole. I, We're going to go to a different galaxy, guys. I've got a pocket now. black hole. <laughs> That's the next step. To get turned inside out? Yeah, that's the next step. <laughs> first, come on, first come you, the white hole. you talking about getting stretched? <laughs> you got to get up to the <laughs> upper ionosphere first. Just turn red. <laughs> <laughs> we have an event horizon on Earth in North in fucking <laughs> Nebraska. It's just Hans Zimmer music the entire time. Everybody that just gets everybody that's like getting close, their arms and f- their fingers like, start spaghettifying into the fucking event horizon. That's water coming. I'm surprised yeah. with half the shit that like technology is pushing. We haven't already just like fucked our, like fucked everybody. We have that that we know. I mean, if you read the internet, people's like we're gonna be dead in thirty years anyway. It's the, from what? Way. Global warming. It's not gonna be that fast. I thought you were gonna say global war. It's not gonna be that fast. Global war is gonna <laughs> happen before warming. War. All out, Tom Clancy, all out war. Dude, Bezos, he's his rocket was the first step in uh, Amazon waste management. So he's just going to take stuff up to the... Yeah, he's going to blast... Wait, uh, is he going to clean space, or is he going to take trash to space? He's going to take trash, put it in his rocket, and shoot it into the sun. Dude, that's... That's smart. Actually. He straight up was watching Futurama. Put <laughs> trash into a rocket, take it to space, 10 years later, charter the government to clean up that garbage. Yep. No, he literally, in the press conference afterwards, he said we could take nuclear waste that we have nowhere to do or like, and just shoot it into space. Hmm. And it wouldn't be as expensive as NASA. So he's he's already looking at other business. Yeah, but he didn't actually go to space. So how can he do that? He can have a rocket go another like mile up. Then why didn't he? I'm I'm not Jeff Bezos, Chris. <laughs> but you have the same belt. <laughs> I know. I didn't inspire him that much. Think. I figured you would think. think. Okay, think like <laughs> Bezos. Okay, it's baby steps. He started in a garage with books. Then he made the Kindle. So this is his garage. <sighs> right. It's a dick shaped garage that goes to the upper ionosphere. Mm-hmm. So the next step would be the Kindle. So he's actually going to go to space. Then it'll be a moon base, and then he'll have commercial flights to shooting trash everywhere. Dude, can you imagine? It's like I'm tired of taxation. I'm going to the moon. It's a 15 year plan. Chris. Yeah, you can't tax money if the bank's on the moon. Yeah, <laughs> he's just living up there with. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> he's just up there with Bitcoin and Ethereum, just like come get me, baby. Dude, I mean, you set up a base of operations on the moon and you wire transfer back and forth your wouldn't money. That, wouldn't that be some shit though? He's like trading on the uh, the New York Stock Exchange from the moon. The thing I mean, is, like, <laughs> if you went, if you went to the moon as an independent person, you can just claim it, right? Right. Yeah, and you're nobody there. attacks you. There's no the there's moon. no sovereign sovereignty over it. It's yeah. just you. Until it's somebody Bezos comes in, land. Well, maybe that's, until somebody comes and then it's like, like this is mine now. Maybe this that's China's the, moon now. The the person that the person that's building a moon base first. Maybe Bezos wants to be that way so he can control the rights. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he can control the laws, the mineral rights. Yeah, <laughs> there's probably good ore on that planet on yeah, the moon. We're gonna like they said that they want to mine it for shit. We're mm-hmm. gonna trade like the Martians a bunch of beads for their. For the resources, it's just anal bees, and they're like, "Oh, this is interesting, human." Is he well, Hispanic? Taking... Apparently, <laughs> we will take this from you, human. Dude, you could trade. Oh, I think so. You could oh, trade anything. <laughs> you could give. The alien gets in this thing. He's just like, I could, I could literally Orange present is. this to aliens, and it, they wouldn't know the difference between this and a block of gold. They or would. a super weapon. They would probably be coming here for gold for its conduct. I'll probably try getting the word of God, even a Bible. <laughs> I mean, I guess they would have to be pretty dang smart, even con- even similar looking to us, but they'd they, probably know the difference between yeah, that. They would not want our trinkets. And our Jesuit, I mean, would come out and try to convert them. <laughs> we would want their trinkets. We would want theirs, yeah, because we're... If they gave us this... We're greedy as fuck, We would yeah. take this, we'd study it, and like, we'd dissect it. It's my shit. Kind of like we gave, <laughs> kind of like, uh, kind of like we gave uh, the native blankets to trade. Yeah, the aliens are going to give Americans we're blankets. The, we're the Indians. Well, that's what they're worried about. If aliens came I here, think, we would get something from yeah, them. We would get humans are the blankets. Mm-hmm. But they, they say that they, the aliens would probably know that. And so they would probably be smart about how they gave stuff to us. We probably or, don't want aliens coming here anyway. I don't know. I've watched the Tomorrow War... 
Them aliens. Dude, you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it when they dropped like a fucking thousand feet up in the air and landed on fucking buildings and they were all still alive? It was pretty cool. Did you fucking think that was cool? It was kind of a cool scene. Like the guy yeah. still dressed like a chef. He was still in a chef outfit. <laughs> They're and like, like back in time. Ah! And, and they landed in like three feet of water but didn't die. Some of them landed on the roof. They should got die. splattered. It was still a cool scene. He combat rolled. What the women? Was, you're, saying, you're saying women can't combat roll, Tyler? Uh, all the women didn't land in a pool. There were multiple women after they got off that well, rooftop. They had, like, stronger hips. They made so. their own pool. Oh, they yeah. landed on their asses. Maybe they landed on the dead bodies. <laughs> They're honky-tonk with donkey-donk. That's what they had. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were no. like, honky-tonk. Donkey-donk. That was a terrible movie. I know. I thought it was decent. It was really... It was good-looking. Unrealistic that Miami infrastructure would still be standing 30 years later. With <laughs> yeah, that shit's going to fall down in 15 years. They're all... It's all true. of All the buildings true. are white. Like, the movie came out, and then... The, the condo was, failed. Yeah, it's like, well... <laughs> Miami has the worst skyline of The time city. travel was terrible in that movie. That was kind of dumb, but it, it, it was whatever. It made so. sense. A, it didn't. I was entertained. It by made the movie. sense in like a man on high castle way. I love that show. Like you had Sorry. to be. They looked at your future <laughs> to see that you died to know that they can send you to the future. But they died. sent him. You can't make a paradox. Yeah. They sent him, and then it's his a own, good idea. His own daughter told him how he was going to die and when he was going to die. Right. And then that it should have instantly created a new timeline. Yeah, instantly would have created a new timeline. I don't know if that works like that. Well, you go back in sure time, does. you already know how you're going to die. So you just like prevent your life. I mean, either way, they come back. They're like, all right, we know they're in the ice. And then the second movie should have started. Yeah, it should have been like, the second movie. We know they're in the ice. Let's tell the government and all these future people, we know how to stop it now. And, and they didn't they do believe it. Them. But when they like, come back in liar. the first time and just do that to begin with? You'd think, but they're just the government's just like, you liar. Yeah. We, well, just, we believe that the future people, but we won't believe that we can fix it here. No, that, that should have been the second movie, though. That no, whole pl- It was when they asked the 14 year old about volcanoes, is when the movie sucked. Oh, that guy's like, the volcano was just a. <laughs> <laughs> He's a middle schooler. Don't like, think... I, like I told you, they should have met him older in the future. Yes. It would make more sense when he came back in the past. Yes. Right? So that guy should have been, yeah. He should have yes. been. He should have been the black guy in the future. Yeah. And then go back in the past as him as a kid. It's like he. Yeah. If he would have figured out how he was going to die then he probably would have prevented it. And then instantaneously, maybe he would have popped up with his self. There would have been two Chris Pratt's but the thing on is, the same timeline. They tried to explain it that when he, he went, wouldn't have been dead. When he went to the future, mm-hmm. it made an alternate timeline, and you couldn't go back and change the past for that future. Like them going back into the past was for a different timeline. So you're saying that there no, was no great. possible way that they could have yeah. kept him from dying. Like they were going to the future... But the future was already fucked. So the future was just making them come there so they were yeah, going to have an answer so that they could save their, earth. their other time. So it does yeah. it back to the future change. Yeah. But did we not see him die? Like, he, the movie ends and he's still alive, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he lives. And he probably lives and gets older because he's just like... He's in a different timeline, right? Yeah. Because he's just like, well, I was going to die in a car crash, so I just won't leave my family. <laughs> he dies from, like, COVID. Or J.K. Simmons kills him. The only I'm reason dad, it, yeah. from COVID. The only reason to watch it is to see how fucking ripped J.K. Yeah Simmons is. That's the only reason like, to watch. I need movie. pictures, pictures of Star Lord. He was fucking ripped in that. He Did got you? Joked. Yeah, yeah, he's yoked in that movie. He, he's he trained for a uh, Batman. He was gonna be commissioner. He was a commissioner Gordon. He got yoked, but he wore a trench coat the entire Wait, movie. I thought they made Commissioner Gordon a black guy now. Well, in the new Batman movie, yes. Hey, right. yo. That's why they changed uh, Batgirl to a black girl. Yes. Black, Batgirl to black girl? Mm-hmm. She's a black, a black woman <laughs> plays, plays a Barbara Gordon. Mr. Black girl. Black girl. Jim. <laughs> Jim's your daughter. Joker shot her in the back. I don't know what it is. Jim, black girl. I don't know what it is. Dude. Hollywood's just like, we do not like redheads. They're crazy. They don't like redheads or white people. Look at Amber Heard. She's still cast. Oh, is that's a woman. That They're recasting her. Are they? That's the word. I just she'll, read it today. She'll stand next to that uh, Polynesian guy at a press release. I swear I just read an article today saying they were recasting her as Zaka Woman. And it was going to be... Zaka Woman. What? <laughs> Zaka Woman. A Zaka Woman. As a Zaka Woman. A Zaka Woman. A Zaka Woman. I don't think she's Aqua Woman. What was she? Is she she's, is uh, Aqua... She's Aqua, like Queen Mara. Aqua person? Is that where that's going? She's, she's non-gender binary, whatever? Yeah. Aqua, <laughs> Aqua thing. 
<laughs> aqua they. Is she a woman or is she not a woman? Is she she's a pear? aqua. She's aqua, aqua fresh. I'm aqua, aqua seaweed. Aqua fresh. She's aqua fresh. <laughs> what is she fucking toothpaste? She got flow the flow ride. <laughs> I'm a pear. I'm a seaweed. I'm not a woman. Oh my god. Well, I don't know if that's true, but I know that people are backing uh, Johnny Depp. Yeah, even Dwar, Dwar, Dwyer, Dior, D-I-R-R. Dior, 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 D-I-O-R. Oh, those people that make expensive shoes. We knew somebody from high school that worked for Dior. Really? What? Who? I was going to say it later. Does her name rhyme with something? Eeyore. Mathleen? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, did she yeah. work for Dior? Yeah. She doesn't anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> that rhymed. That was weird. Uh, anyways. What happened with that? She quit. Oh, okay. Had a baby, I think. I don't know. She moved back. To yeah, this yeah, she's been trying to grow now, right? Yeah, I saw her at the... Uh, you I gotta saw, know where you come from. I saw her at the... <laughs> they cannon- always come crawling back. The roots. Oh, Give shit. Give some milk. I saw her at the Cannonballers game, and I was like, oh, hey, there's there's Mathleen. You say hey to her? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I said, hey, there's there's Mathleen. Okay. <laughs> That's it. From, just- <laughs> from like 700 yards away. She was... That's pretty far. Dude, you, you got turn around and walk away. <laughs> Jesus Christ, He's man. like... And then you turn around and walk away. I was like, talking oh. to Elizabeth, so yeah, I saw Mathleen over there. She's like, oh. don't want to talk to them. She was like, can't talk to her. <laughs> you got her arm crawls like this. No, she doesn't, <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't hate Mathleen. It's like, you ain't talking to her, and you're not going to Japan. I was good <laughs> friends with Mathleen. Oh, so, yeah. oh yeah. yeah? Real good. Not that good. Oh, yeah? No. Oh, hey, yeah? did you guys get the invite to the... Nope. Did uh, Brandon send you guys the invite to the 2006 graduating class of South Rowan? On Facebook? No. Nope. Is it a new one? Yeah. No. I saw a thing they were trying to have it locally, like a like a fifteen year. What right? what yeah. is this year? Is it our fifteen? Fifteen. Yeah, this is our fifteen. Did I y'all saw... go to the ten? Nope. Nope. I should have. I ain't going no. to Charlotte. My leg was or my foot was like had a hole in it. What? Yeah, I remember that. You you worked that one day and Dude, I almost I got a foot infection real bad mm-hmm. from that. <laughs> so I don't remember that. You're not going. I stepped on a trailer. I don't know, I might I mean I don't care about anybody that's there. Shit. No offense. <laughs> I would go. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. And we'll just go in and hang out with each yeah, other. Yeah, I would go now. Let's do a podcast from the... Uh... I'll be self-important. Be like... <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey. We do a hey, podcast. Hey, Matt, we, uh, we're I don't, know. I don't know. know if you guys heard, but we're, we're doing, we do we're a podcast, podcast now. Well, you can find us on Spotify. We're legit. We're bona fide. It's you like, guys can here? I sit down and talk with y'all? No. Hell yeah. No. We don't want anyone. We do a podcast now. Yeah, we're podcasters full-time. I almost replaced a SAG actor. <laughs> <laughs> you should put that in your Twitter bio next year. Double almost, cherries. I almost replaced a SAG actor. <laughs> almost. That's almost. an accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> That's an accomplishment. I should put it on every, I'm a hand on everything now. <laughs> yeah, That's on actually on good. Hands. That's solid. <laughs> That's, That's good. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt, too. That's that's our t-shirt when we start yeah. doing stuff. That's my t-shirt. That's yours, yeah. yeah. I almost replaced it. We'll have your face on it. It's just yeah. mine. I'll just sell it yeah. off. Mine will be reverse. Else. It's like you, you'll you have uh, I almost replaced a SAG actor. Mine will be reverse 69. There you go. We could do and your then, face with the We could do your face with the poop splatter on it, too. Like with you. you oh, these, they don't know about that yet. Cause That's an inside it, joke for, just, the, for, the pod oh, yeah. show, for the show. It yeah. just got posted. Deep dive. Nice. Deep dive. It just got posted. Well, then send me a clip of the shit on your face, and I'll post it on Instagram. <laughs> it's just well, I already shit. posted it to TikTok, so. Well, then send me the link. I'll do a, okay. I'll do a screen grab, okay. and I'll just post it on Instagram without right. any caption. All right. <laughs> All right that's fine. Yeah. Shit. Well, you were talking about Japan, and uh, we were talking about suitcase bombs and all that shit. Yep. And then we were- <laughs> Are we bringing it back? So <laughs> I it joggled a memory okay. about- I, I totally heard about a bombing that we did that was more powerful than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay. And no one's ever heard about it. The one in the ocean? No. We oh. killed 80,000 people before. That's it? Before Nagasaki and before Hiroshima. Where at? In Japan. Are you talking about when we firebombed them? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we f- we really wrecked Tokyo. It was called Operation Meeting House. We burned a fire Tokyo to the ground. We we did not want to have another Germany endeavor in Japan. So this happened March 9th and tenth. When did Pearl Harbor happen? December. Uh, no, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor happened before the war because it got or it happened during the war because so it got. Oh, December 9th or something. Like yeah, that. I don't remember the actual date. Let me yeah. look. Early December was Pearl Harbor. 
Uh, yeah, by the time we got to the Pacific and we're over there for a little bit, they said, fuck this. Oh, let's yeah, just, December 7th, yeah, we, there was 1941. No way, there was no way we were going to invade mainland Japan. Okay. Yeah. We're going to lose so much fucking people. I didn't yeah. know that much time had passed between Pearl Harbor and the actual bombings. Yeah, because we went to, like, all the islands and, like, yeah. worked our way. We had a mid battle midway. We, like, slowly fought yeah. to mm-hmm. Japan. And it was a bitch and a half, and too. And we took yeah. their land after that. We're like, all right. We, like, you... we started, like, yeah, the casualties started adding up. We're like, hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the rest of Europe wasn't Europe was gonna... already done. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't coming to help us. It yeah. was like, it was us well, being solo. They should have been afraid of Russia. Russia was going to start pinching them from the north. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and they were just throwing bodies at the war. Yeah, we were over there in Japan pretty much alone. Well, like, it was us in, like, Canada and if, Australia. If yeah, we was... didn't nuke Japan. It had been bad. I bet it would be a Russian territory today. Probably. Russia was sending babies out there and slapping them on the ass and sending them out there. Get to shooting. <laughs> They're like, get it you out. You got fingers. They were body. They were fucking. They were fucking. Uh, Stalin barri- didn't Those fuck bodies around. were barricades for yeah. the people that like, were experiencing. Stalin was just as bad as the people were fighting. Like that whole coast yeah. of Asia would be like the coast of the Middle East today. Mm-hmm. It'd just be like Russia occupying everything. And like be poor <sighs> as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Because Japan, Japan invaded China too. Can, can you imagine China, Hiroshima. Japan, both Koreas? Oh, that's Russia. All rebuilding in the nineties when the USSR failed. What What did China do during the China war? was a is, is, China was, was an ally. They were helping yeah. us. Yeah, but China like, was fighting Japan. They must not have had a big army at that point in time. I guess they weren't communists. Yet, I don't think right. Them fighting the samurai. Right. I think they were. They were the uh, republic. They were the People's Republic. They were Taiwan. They? Whatever Taiwan was. Or when did they become the People's Republic of China? I don't know. That was back in the... That was after World War II when all that shit came in. It was like the Cold War time. So they weren't really that organized then. Well, they were organized enough to help us. So Hiroshima was on August 9th. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. August 6th was Hiroshima. August (laughs) 9th was Nagasaki. Okay, what was the firebombing? The firebombing was March 9th and 10th. (laughs) My bad. Okay, so we did it like in like three, four month increments. So we did the fire bombing March 9th and 10th. They didn't 10th, stop. And then August, and August is when Hiroshima nukes. and Nagasaki happened. And then so, they said, oops, we quit. Why didn't we just fire bomb the whole goddamn country? Dude, it was. We, we didn't want to kill the them fire all. Bombing we should was, have. The fire bombing is worse than the fucking nuclear yeah. bombs. Yeah, because nuclear but it, you instantly. It didn't yeah. make headlines because it wasn't a nuclear bomb. Even though it was right. worse. It was just war. I mean, London had been firebombed <laughs> be, by Russia. Well, it's yeah. a normal Germany bomb, too. Right. It's not that bad. It's just no, a normal it's just, bomb. You put water out of it, right? <laughs> it's fire. Well, well, I come to want no water. No, it's no, not no, nuclear. Can people live in Nagasaki today? Come on. Yeah. Well, wasn't the nuke worse because it was just like one plane just rolls in and one bomb drops out and then just yeah. flies away? Yeah. They just blows like, the fuck just record up. it with a little. You're like, oh, we don't fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Battle to the metal, baby. <laughs> That's pretty much how it was. They didn't I can't know what the see. Like, like those. I, I, people, I, they had no oh, fucking God. idea what was about to happen. <laughs> That's what happened. That's that noise you just heard. That woo. That was, that was the battleships when they were testing out nukes in the water and they were just seeing what what would happen. Well, it shouldn't blow them off the deck. <laughs> Japan knew what was about to happen because mm-hmm. yeah. they had scientists too that were like. Oh, shit. Yeah, they had nuclear scientists that were like, we can't build this. Well, I'm pretty sure we told them, too. We were like, y'all need to de yeah, like, or we're about to like. We're going to drop, drop a shit. nuclear weapon on you. And, and they're like, yeah, nah. Their scientists are like, yeah, that's what Israel it's does highly the improbable. They drop pamphlets and let them know they're going to bomb them. <laughs> it's just highly improbable that America has a, the full technology. <laughs> the West can never do such a thing. Like, you can't harness the sun. It's like, nah, we, we stole all these people from Germany. We got yeah. this shit And now. then we dropped one, and they're like, it is highly improbable that they have more than one. <laughs> And they're like, holy he. There's no way to have a third. <laughs> if they would have said, drop a third one. Then we would have dropped fucking five. Yeah, we would have been like, oh my God. That probably been our whole fucking, like. Push the red button. Everything. They just drop it on the capital or on the uh, monarch. Mm-hmm. I you w- had to kill the emperor. Oh you have God. to. Dude, 334 B-29 bombers flew over Japan. Three hundred and thirty-four. That's what you get for bombing her part, uh, Pearl Harbor, and they dropped <laughs> her, her old They dropped sixteen hundred <laughs> tons of incendiaries, including a half a million cylinders of napalm and white phosphorus. That fucks some uh, white phosphorus. Dry, yeah. windy conditions aided the spread of the 
had material, done. which turned into a firestorm, destroying almost 16 square miles of the densely populated city, and 100,000 people died in two days. How dare we? We should yeah. have done that. That's why we only did it the one time, because it took a lot of planes. I'm sure they got shot out, too. This guy, Lee May, it's one word. That's his last name. Le he May. was the RAF bomb, bomber commander. He <laughs> said, killing Japanese didn't bother me very much at the time. I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> Those dang racist Brits. But people like today are like, why did we do that? Because we had to. They're like, how dare we? We could have talked to them. We could have given them a peace treaty. We did talk to them. <laughs> Re- reparations. So like, there's no way we could. Give them reparations. We did give them reparations. We did, yeah. yes. Did because they give us reparations? No, no, no. no. no we gave Japan reparations. We gave reparations. Japanese Americans Well, we did treat them like fucking shit. We put our American citizens in concentration camps. That was the lucky ones. Yeah. The other ones got killed out on the streets. Yeah. And then we, we, paid not, yeah. we paid them yeah. afterwards. Yeah, 9-11 was like pretty close. Well... Do the same thing. People don't like talking about when you're like, oh, we actually paid reparations. Dude, this fucking... What about me? <laughs> That's why they don't like talking about... All those people were dead. They did it while <laughs> they were alive. How come I don't get reparations then, but he gets reparations? You mean tell me they gave reparations to white people? Who got... Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Asian Americans. Asian Americans. Asian Americans. are white. Oh, okay. They're probably the more racial, racist ones, to be honest. Chinese people are pretty racist. They are. And... Whites and blacks, and I think everyone's racist. Yeah. Everybody's racist. Everybody's equally racist. Aliens are racist. At least we're not an <laughs> antelope in fucking Africa. I don't okay. know what that means. They get eaten by lions. You talking about like yeah. a lion just eating your ass out? Yeah, or you're <laughs> stuck in a puddle, and you're surrounded by hyenas, and they're dragging you back, you get out, they drag you this way, and then a fucking hippo comes out of nowhere... And chases the hyenas off. The hippos but, are mean. But the but the gazelle bumps the hit bumps the bumps the hippo, <laughs> thinking they're buds, and he's protecting him. <laughs> well, the hippo grabs him and fucking throws the gazelle up in the air, and then the hyenas get him. Or even better, you survive <laughs> against the hippo. You walk away strutting, but your tummy's hanging out. Yeah, you gotta die you later do. death. Gotta what? Do what you gotta do. <laughs> you, you're just Never. walking out like. <laughs> it's just like I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be of, okay. There's a lot of flies around me. I'll be okay. Fuck. I think this is cool. The Japanese called that night the night of the black snow. They give the oh, best. The ash. Yeah. Yeah. They give the best names. We don't do names like that. Uh, in books, we do. Like the yeah, well, J.R. Tolkien stuff. doesn't count. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 just like nine eleven. That's boring as twin, fuck. The twin towers. The two towers. They were already the twin towers. Building seven fell. That's a pretty good title. Well, what would you call it? Like a night fire. of the black snow. Sounds majestic. Like uh, what would Dance, you of, call the, Dance of the Sugar Plums is pretty nice, too. <laughs> what would you call 9-11 if you could give it a theatrical name? The Nest of the Eagle. I don't know. What mm-hmm. would you call it? Uh, I don't know. The Roots Go Deep. The Roots Go Deep. <laughs> 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 go deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. No that, just, that just, that, but you've heard of it, Chris. You've heard of the fire bombing that we did. Yeah. So that surprised me that you've heard of it. Have you guys heard of that bombing that we did before oh, Nagasaki? Just on now. It. I go yeah. on like YouTube holes and it's just like, oh. I think they had they had that scene in a movie. Uh, Pearl Harbor. They did the one. It was the Doolittle raid. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the one that they really didn't. There was like 16 medium-sized aircraft. That wasn't very, it wasn't I, really I effective. Have you ever watched like them. compilation videos of nuclear nukes going off? Kinda. It's like scary for some reason. It yeah, because it's like you're watching mushroom, just mushroom clouds, just different ones. It's like the ca- kill you. the camera goes instantly bright, <laughs> and then it <laughs> like, and then it adjusts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they adjust like they adjust the shutter down to like see the brightness just, of the mushroom cloud. It's just a bright mushroom in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's like the black and white ones are probably are scarier than like the colored yeah. ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ripping houses apart that they built out there in the desert it's just, to and see it's what like, happens. Some dude's wearing welding goggles. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh. I'll be fine in five years. That reminds me the uh, the ocean bombs they were testing recently. Make Godzilla. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, they were saying that we're actually bombing aliens that lived in the ocean. That's pretty sweet. We need to dig that, into that, that. that. That's a conspiracy that the government wasn't testing bombs; they were bombing aliens in the ocean. They just watched Godzilla too many times. Or that's the Tic Tacs coming out of the water, right? Yeah. Well, the space alien, the water aliens. I've and been. Some consp- I didn't read into it because I was like, that's just kind of silly. I've been reading some about how they think aliens aren't coming from outer space, that they're coming from the ocean. Yeah. Didn't we talk about that? That was a. 
Pacific Rim job had that. Uh, at the wasn't bottom. that just God, the last Godzilla movie? Yeah. Well, that also kind of from Hollow Earth. Was that called? I want to say Poseidon, but it's not Poseidon. Pacific, Pacific Rim, Rim, like Rim you job, just yeah. said. Pacific but then what were, what were the... <laughs> Poseidon was the boat that flipped upside down. The one Kurt Russell was in that one. Ghost what ship. Was the, what ghost was the... Ship. Ghost, ghost <laughs> ship. Uh, what, what was the... The actual... perfect storm. No, what was the what was the creatures that come out of the bottom? Kaiju. 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 Kaijus. Yeah. They um, they come out, they steal all your money, and they, they just complain that wasn't, about everything. That wasn't made up just for that movie. Yeah. The female ones can't read. Like, kaiju is like a whole Japanese <laughs> subculture. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> they stub their toe. They're like the they're Titans like, of the Greeks, right? It's a boingy, yeah. sing boy, stub my toes, a boingy. You're not allowed to talk oh. to other other kaiju's that are in their family. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, like King Kong's a kaiju. Godzilla's a kaiju. Yeah. What does kaiju mean? Uh, probably monster. Like giant you know, monster. Monster of the sea. Hey Siri. Yeah, kaiju means a big, a big. Uh, what is kaiju? Big, big monster. English? Is big. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kaiju, kaiju. She doesn't want to listen to kaiju. Oh, kaiju. Yeah, monster kaiju. Monster yeah. kaiju. Uh, kaiju. <laughs> no, no, I said kai- Why did you say that, Tom? I, said, I thought that's what you said. No. I, said, I, said, I didn't say kaiju. I said we were, kaiju. <laughs> Come we on, were talking, what are you talking about? We were making a sexual joke. <laughs> oh, I heard something totally different then. I call, they, call me, they call me kaiju. Oh, okay. Nickname kaiju. Okay. What to say, Chris? But, she was being difficult. She's being a bitch. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the comedian Ari Shafir. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. He's having like people send him request. Like he's trying to name his new comedy tour. So he's taking suggestions from people. Okay. And like he said, like a couple of them were fun. One was like flying a kike. Stuff like that. That's, funny. that's that's a joke we made. Right? He's Jewish. Yeah. He's like it's funny because like how to. F- <laughs> <laughs> it's not your joke. It's his joke. <laughs> it means kaiju you means strange creature. Okay. All right. Well, they are, yeah. Kaijus are, are are strange. Their beliefs are weird. It's, it's definitely. Um, <laughs> what the Shabbat can't watch and all t- that? can't watch TV. Can't, uh, yeah. Not allow to wear jeans. It's just weird. You gotta have that thing over your head all the time as a reminder, uh, right? Different ones. Different ones. Uh, some Kaijus they have the black hats, and they're not allowed to talk to anybody. Oh, right, Chris. Yes. <laughs> Chris is our foremost expert on religion. They're fundamentalists. Uh, yeah, the, kai- the fundamentalist kaijus, orthodox oh, yeah. kaijus. Yeah, yeah. yeah the kai- can't have those secular kaijus. No kaijus. Well, it really came out when they got modern kaijus, where the year savior came. Mm. Oh, okay. But I think that the uh, Japanese kaijus don't believe in the, uh, the American kaiju yeah. of Godzilla, right? Right. He's not the real kaiju. He exists in continuity, though. But he's, he's not a lesser kaiju. He's not. Yes, he's not the 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 kaiju. <laughs> I, what about? I get it. You get what I'm saying? You figuring out what we're putting down, Thomas? I get it. What about the? Uh, I get it. Mega Godzilla. <laughs> he's referencing three books. But... Mecha Godzilla is more from the mid mid middle eastern yeah. area of Asia. That thing seemed OP. <laughs> it's, think... spelled, it's spelled M E C C A Godzilla. Mecha Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he he's only able to fight. <laughs> that thing seems you can you only defeat him during uh during Ramadan. Ramadan, Ramadan. And, <laughs> when he's fasting. That thing seemed OP in the movie. It, it was, was for a little bit until they started walking together, and that guy's just like, "I could throw coffee on this." Yeah, and then not, and then and then Godzilla realizes how to use an axe. Yeah, thought that was fucking really silly. Yeah, I think Kong is a metaphor for that type of kaiju. Kong figured out how to use the axe, not God, not Godzilla. Sorry, that it was his together. kingdom. It was his kingdom. His kingdom, Kong. The upside down kingdom. The kingdom that's got like gravity that that doesn't <laughs> make sense a, here, but then it does there. The only way to defeat the Mecha is have the the the, per, the that one kaiju. Which one, <laughs> Mothra? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The cutoff sheet. The the ape kaiju. Mm. Kong? Yeah, her name comes comes from Kong Island. It all yeah. comes back to this one girl not being able to read. And how did no, it, sorry, here. How did right. it turn into inner earth like inner earth? Hollow Earth. Hollow how did it turn into hollow earth? The hollow, our hollow earth is real. If you go down a certain point, how is there sunlight ships? down there? Uh <laughs> don't question. The core is hot. It's just Brave. lava. It's just did lava. we ever see the core in that? You see, that's lava? different kaiju. There's literally lava? there was clouds in the sky Why when he was down there. If it was hollow, well, technically there was two skies, right? Because it was like a symmetrical plane or some shit. I don't know. Well, he got to the equilibrium mm-hmm. where he got 
that it's that point that's yeah. right in the middle of the earth. Yeah, that's where the core would be. Well, I think hollow earth means that we're living. <laughs> well, they believe that we're living inside a, dome, a sphere. I have no. That idea. we're all pointing toward the middle of the uh, earth. Have y'all seen that test that they tried doing with the? Oh, so you're saying that if I go straight up into the sky, I'll land in China? Yeah. Huh. Do yeah. I, that's so, what they're believing. Uh, yeah. How thought, high do you got to go? Forty-seven stories. I don't know. I, I think a it, girl just tested that out the other day with her dog. Yesterday. What? What? I was going to say, we could take you to Charlotte and let you jump off of a building. I'm pretty sure you'll die. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying if I jump off? Wait, wait, wait. I thought Hollow Earth was where all the uh, the Nazis went. <laughs> no, they went to the moon. Oh, yeah. They went to the Hollow Moon. They went to Argentina. Uh, <laughs> no, they, def- they did. They went to the... They went to the Hollow Moon. They went to yeah. Antarctica. They tried to find yeah. Hollow Earth. They said the Atlanteans were in the Hollow well, Earth, right? That's the conspiracy. Yes. Atlanteans. I'm getting my Unless conspiracy the Atlanteans are the aliens. I don't know. You yeah. ever have a girl hold your dick while you take a piss? No. <laughs> have you? Yeah. When? Why? Were you too drunk to stand and pee? It was, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? Have you, Chris? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you asking Chris for? I don't know. Maybe he's lived a little. Okay. <laughs> I've had a cyst before. Oh, a in the, cyst? In the, a cyst? I about said, cyst. oh, yeah, in the nursing home for some reason. I about said that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're in the nursing home, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I don't know where we're going with this. It was just a random question. I just okay. Well, Chris has maybe no, because of the asking, hospital. Where's this going? Oh, I just. <laughs> I, don't want to work. I need to hear why it's you've had your dick held now. Okay, it was a story. Um, it was a chick I went out on a date with like a year or so ago, and um, it was our second date. And, Perfect time. And we went to uh, we went to a place and got some drinks. And then on the way back, I really had to take a piss. So she put, she drank it. No, so oh. I, I pulled over. I was just like, like, hey, I, I'm not gonna make it back. Like, I just gotta take a piss. And she was like, well, you want me to help you? Like, being kind of coy, you know, like, you want me to help you? I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna pull over. And she's like, yeah, help. And I was like, all right. So Dude. I just pull over to the side of the road and just walk over there, and she just like grabs Y'all it. Y'all flirted and... while you took a piss. Yeah. She held your dick while you took a piss. Yeah, Louis yeah. C.K. did the same thing, and he got canceled. Get your hand off my penis! It was consensual. That's <laughs> yo. And she was above. She was I don't understand page. what's going on. <laughs> you, fl- that's you flirted. This is a, this is a real story. I'm she not making this up. She wanted to hold your penis, I guess. And yeah. this was you found a way to have a sexual sexual interaction while you took a piss. Well, we were, we were gonna fuck at the uh, place we were having drinks at, but we were kind of like, let's just go back. Did you get chubby slightly? Yeah. Is a chick holding my dick? Why not? While you're peeing. Millions of people have that. This is just a, this is the this is he a, doesn't have a going problem he has a growing problem <laughs> <laughs> just because Thomas like no that, I wasn't this like is great I wasn't like full staff or anything but I mean it was it was kind of like it was kind of like okay cool Dude, she's actually down it like, just blows my mind how people flirt like you found a way to flirt I, while we, peeing we were like already a few drinks Dude, in anyway you're like. Yeah, you want to hold it? Yeah. All right, hang Dude, on. water sports is like a whole subgenre. Dude, you got yeah, wet works. <laughs> <laughs> we never, we never went into that part. Oh. Did you fuck? Who's going first? after? Yeah. At some point? Yeah, because we were going favorite? to at the place. So you were we fully did. capable of holding your own dick because you peed out in outside. Yeah, yeah and I, you I literally let her experiment. And just hold your penis. Why while not? She pee. asked. Now the question is: Does she hold it like a fire hose and go? Wee! Or does she hold does it with two like, fingers? Or uh, like a, yeah, like I, I think it was the thing where she was like, she was like, I've never done this before, and I was like, just don't grab. <laughs> so I was like, just don't. So weird. <laughs> I was like, just, just don't grab it and squeeze really hard because I'm trying to piss. This think is the second time you fucking met this girl, <laughs> and you she, let and you let her fucking hold your dick while you pissed. Yeah. Did you return the favor? Must be a sexual god. I don't understand that. Did you like spread her curtains for her and help her? Like, no. Me too? no Did no. you wipe her? No, I didn't help her. <laughs> <laughs> you can aim. I didn't help her do anything. Did she like pee-pee. flick it around while you were peeing just to like, like steer it around? It. She go and hose it with the thumb and like spread out. No, harder. she didn't do that. Oh, no. I get distance. She didn't do that. Take a finger in between. She just, she just like, had <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> She just had it, and she was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, just don't squeeze too hard. So she was holding it, and then I was just pissing, so and she was like, oh, I can feel it. And I was like, yeah, it's going. And then she just kind of like did like that back and forth a little bit, and then I was done. She obviously, dang it, first time she held a dick. Probably not, but. And then you got back in the car, and, and it was and all normal. Went back, and we just kept, and we went back to either my place or her place, and. 
Did the deed. Did the deed. I mean, the cool. horizontal boogie. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so <laughs> awesome. But <laughs> it was your. <laughs> that was a Pop Rocks on Top 69. That, Liz- that was not a Pop Rocks incident. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth's never, ever hold my dick while I peed. She never yeah, asked. Same here. Never needed to That's do weird. that. Well, it'll, change your, it'll change your life. Oh, I don't want to. Why? And she doesn't need. She doesn't want to either. Do you think it's weird? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're. Not, I didn't pee on her. I peed. Wait. On the why would that be weird? Because you're pissing. Like, yeah, she, but, like I was just like. There's like, nothing sexual about it. It's yeah, your second time it, seeing it her. It was in the morning. It's like, it's like, can I wipe your ass after you shit? No, it's, that like, would it's be the same weird. thing. It's no, the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's body fluids. <laughs> yes, no, is. no. Okay, oh. listen, listen. The reason I said it was, it was the fact that we were going. I was like, look, I'm gonna pull over. I'm not trying to be weird. I just, I really gotta take a piss, and I'm not gonna make it back. There's like another like 15, right, 20 right. minutes. It's like, yeah, that's I've normal. Got a we're piss. normal. We're you normal. Go. It's like, fine. Go. We're normal. So then she looks at me. We had been flirting and stuff the whole time anyway, and we let we had left there because I'm about we were to heading tell you back. When it's not normal. No, we had left there because we were we were about to do it there, and we're like, let's just go I, back yeah, and we'll yeah. do we're it. Still okay. We're still normal. So we're still good. So then I'm like, okay, I just go it. And then she did that thing. You know how sometimes people are like. They joke about stuff, but okay. they're not serious. That's normal. So she just like looks at me. She's like, "Well, you want me to help you?" And then me. Okay, fine. It's slightly okay, normal. So still being normal because you know sometimes people like to joke. Can I jerk off in front of you? But, but me being like a couple drinks in, I was just like, "Sure, let's go for it." <laughs> slightly still satire and normal. It's, I like, it's it. like you're pushing to see like maybe this will happen. So like, sure, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not weird. You're just gonna be holding. My thing is like you're gonna That's do weird. It, you're gonna be doing it later. So then I walk around the truck and I'm like, doing it later. I walk around the tr- I walk around my truck. I walk over there. It's a troll. And she opens her door and I'm just like, Are you sure? And now she, it's weird. And she's like, I was like, Are you now sure? And she's weird. like, Yeah, go ahead. And then she's like, I don't know what to do. And then it went from there. This okay, is okay. it's weird. Okay, okay. If she, she, if she she stayed in the truck. If she needed to pee and she's like, <laughs> it'd be funny if someone helped like Chris saying, help my curtains back while I was peeing. I bet you got would it. You, would you? Would you? Would you get out and like? Hold her pussy open. I don't think that's how that works because the pee doesn't come out of the inside of the vagina. It's still the same area. She she hands you a tissue. I know it's a different hole, asshole, but it's the same fucking spot. It's like she. She hands you a tissue and says, "While I'm while I'm propping myself up on the pavement, will you wipe my vagina so I don't have to take a hand away and fall down? Would you do that? Would you get under there and wipe her vagina? Probably not." That's it. <laughs> she didn't wipe my dick. <laughs> she held it though. She was part of your pee process. So, it was as funny. As, as, I it get was it. funny. It's it was, funny. We were Back both in, a few drinks in. We were just having fun, just being loose or whatever. It's like a once a lifetime. Fight. It was just one of those things. She's like, "Well, I've never done this," and it was like, "I called her on her bluff," and she was like, "Well, fuck it, you gotta do it." Here's a tip. She, I mean, it was, you don't <laughs> shit with the bathroom door open. I have before. Uh, yeah. But how do you do it? To, but it was probably it's not a, a common thing. But it's like it's happened a couple times. But like I don't want to be in there when she, she's shitting. Okay, okay. She don't want to be in there when I'm shitting. Have you right. seen? Is it weird how vulnerable people look when they're taking a shit? <laughs> You're, <laughs> right. that's, that's all, that's all. <laughs> You're literally like that's the most vulnerable position. It is. The guy in Jurassic Park died that way. That's, and every every dude. person in a Western movie gets killed in outhouse. That's the face you give somebody when they bust in. On oh them. shit. <laughs> Oh, like the <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're you tucking, don't. You're tucking. actually nobody. There's no words either. It's just like it's oh, like you, the most you get maybe is like a oh oh oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the American <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh <laughs> oh. <laughs> just holding, just you, fucking shit smell and you're holding your dick. You oh. can barely get out. I'm in here. No no no. It's no. Just, oh. no there's no yeah. It's just mm. you just like you push everything into the toilet and you're just like. They push you into the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see my wife using the bathroom, and she doesn't want to see me using the bathroom. Right, because there's a little bit of a respect, some privacy. What it is is it's preserving the Sanctity idea of, the of having sex with you know <laughs> your spouse. <laughs> like I'm just being, I'm being honest. Like no, I, that's cool. I don't want to see my wife taking a shit. Well, I no, know I she does. Nobody wants to see then that. If you ever have kids, don't watch her give birth. Well, it will ruin a lot of things for you. See, I understand. (laughs) It will ruin a lot. Oh my god! (laughs) It will ruin a lot for a long time. (laughs) I I'm different there because like Elizabeth, like a girl has her period, so that's normal. It's a thing, and I can I can get behind the baby thing too, like in a weird way. But no, when you see it in real life, it's like peeing mm -hmm. and pooping is just not something I want to be involved in. The baby thing will. 
it'll make your head spin. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was ready. <laughs> I, I wanted well, to get they into poop? that one day. Don't they shit? It sometimes? depends. 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 Did you see that? I didn't were, see that. You missed part. that one. I didn't. Okay, see that that's part. good. Because they're pushing so hard, some of them yeah. shit. I saw the top of my kid's head. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> and that changed something. It's probably the rip the uh and then a bunch of blood and ripping in the chair. The ripping in the chair. It's that part he's talking about oh. when you see the So you saw some ripping or did you see him where they snipped it? Uh, that's what I about yeah, something. I don't I don't re- really recall that much. I just <laughs> <laughs> They show that in a movie. But I've you seen saw it, it yeah. twice. I, I didn't the second time. You I made, chose not to. You're like, I'm, I, I'm good. I saw, it. <laughs> I, I saw it the first time. I got to experience it the first time. The second time, I kind of took more of a backseat approach and let the doctors do their so, thing. Yeah, I'm watching the other, the first one. Yeah. The, I was, so, mm. yeah. I'm just saying yeah, for it, pretty. people it's out not. there, keep your bathroom doors closed. <laughs> Preserve a little bit of your secrecy, our, you our personal like, secrecy. Unless you got like a sick downstairs bathroom yeah where you can like leave the door open and watch tv while you're doing it hi chris if you had hmm? you flexing on people <laughs> if you had that yeah, was, was a humble brag <laughs> you flex <laughs> look at you rubbing your hair like this guy's a bad guy this guy's a fucking menace <laughs> like, i watch tv while i shit from the other room <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah brother <laughs> <laughs> If you have a sweet setup like that, I say rock it, though. Yeah, I would. Because your wife will probably know when you go down there, There's you're no going shame. to use the bathroom. No shame in that. Or jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, always close the door if you're jerking <laughs> off. Make sure it's locked. <laughs> and close your browser history, too. Yeah, yeah. delete all that. Yeah. Don't leave pop-ups up. I made that mistake. I feel like we need that outro music for all this good advice. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure it'll be a callback too. In, at the yeah, end. I'm sure y'all are gonna be like reverse six nine and pissing everywhere. <laughs> now, that's another T-shirt. Thomas is just thumbs up like nobody's holding his dick except this strange hand coming in and holding the pop rocks. Well, you, you don't you don't have to hold your dick to piss either, right? You just hold it out. Lucky. <laughs> you, you don't have to hold. Do you, okay. I hold my dick when I piss. Yeah, but you don't have to. Yeah, I'm not. not really. Sometimes I'm like this at the toilet. It depends on the yeah. Weird thing is, like you ever do it in the shower? Yeah. What do you yeah. mean? Poop? Yeah. Pee. I should. Yeah. yeah. Are you waffle stomp, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> I have Get before. that shit down. <laughs> it's eco friendly, Chris. You don't use toilet paper. It all goes to the septic system. <laughs> For some reason, it's easier to pee while you're like holding it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like. While you're holding your yeah. Yeah. Do like you, you think grab it's e- it. Do you think it's easier to pee to sit down or stand up? Um, when I was passing a kidney stone, I would sit down sometimes. <laughs> Nothing wrong that, with that. That's different. I won't judge that's you on that. I don't one. pee when I shit. After I shit, I set up to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I pee when I no, shit. You're I, a, I ain't pee when I'm sitting down. Now you're a psycho. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a psycho. <laughs> I will hold that pee. Fags, no, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I shit and I stand up to pee. And I sit jo- back down to shit. That's, that's a Bezos move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I don't judge you on that one if you want to sit down or stand up. But you think it's easier to pee to hold your penis. I don't. For it, some for some reason, like, touching, like, nothing, like, sexual, but, like, right. okay. it's like. You ever scratch the back, the area right above your butt crack to get started peeing? The yeah, fuck like, are you talking about? <laughs> sends, <laughs> it'll send shockwaves. It sends, it, it's like a, it's no, like they say those, you're su- they say you're supposed to tickle the inside of your belly button. That now, makes you pee, too. Have you ever, no, have I you ever. I don't get nothing from that. Have you ever that. pushed your. Well, because you're. Yeah, pushed you, up you, to get the rest out. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can push up and get more pee out. Well, yeah, you push up with your taint, and then you sh- then you like work it out of the shaft. But I'm ta- I'm saying there's that small area above your butt crack. Don't go into your butt crack. All right. The small area above your butt crack while you're peeing, it'll send wow. shockwave. If you can't pee, you could scratch that little area, and it'll send shockwaves. I'll, I'll make sure I do that when I'm at the QT and I get pee fright. I'll do that. Everybody stand next to me. It makes you blast pee out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll knock me okay. back. I'm like, whoa, sorry guys. No, you hit the it hits the wall and it just goes everywhere. You change your pants. It doesn't make you blast pee, but it'll it'll make you it'll give you shock. You'll definitely have to hold your dick on that one. I think it's kind of you know, it's kind of like pee in your pants. You ever done that? Like well, well, <laughs> when I was a kid, I like, pissed the bed. You ever per- as an adult? All right, let's say I've never pissed my pants. Have you ever pissed your swimsuit? No, I've peed in a swim. pool. I've yeah, peed I, in a pool. I peed in a pool. Yeah, yeah, but so you've pe- pissed your swim shorts. Well, you're standing there and you're like you're floating and you're like. Like an ocean, maybe, Fuck, yeah. Come out, come <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, I right. get what you're saying. And it's like 
you have to concentrate on that happening. I think it's because like your body's kind of moving. I pray, think. Probably worry about a shark coming. I've to peed your while I've been walking. I got my dick out, and as a little test, I was walking, and I right. I worked. I like got the sensation where I worked the pee out while I walked, and you touched it. What? Well, <laughs> Like a public street? Like you just no, like you no, pulled it out, out the you woods. Didn't just, okay. you just pee your pants. Yeah. You can move and piss at the same time. It's not like against the laws of nature. Try yeah. it, though. It's tough to walk, fully walk and pee. You're literally... It's not that hard. You're, you're, you're just trying... Like, the only reason... Yeah. You're trying not to walk into it. <laughs> yeah. The, the only reason it's hard is because you don't want piss on you. <laughs> walk backwards. <laughs> yeah, but you got to take your pants off. That's the thing. What? If you're butt ass naked, you can <laughs> run through the woods and piss at the same I time. Do I, I can only imagine you can't. the scene from Last of the Mohicans when they're all run through the woods, but they're all butt ass naked pissing. <laughs> <laughs> leave it a trail. Like, they're there's leaving just, a piss trail. It's, it's just like just pissing and shitting everywhere while they're running. The fridge through the won't woods. find me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw off the scent of the dogs. Yeah. Mm. Pissing shit everywhere. Save the red coats. Yeah. Do so. animals even do that? Pissing while they're running? Have My you seen a bird? A bird flies and shit. Oh, that's fair enough. <laughs> My beagle cam. Yeah. He'll pee, and he gets tired of holding his leg up, so he'll just, walk, he'll just start walking and pee. He's like, you're not done, pal. <laughs> he's walking. He's tired. He's just going. He's peeing. He's tired. Yeah. Well, what was I going to say? Mm, We're good, gonna say good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I just, we just kept going. That was good. <laughs> I didn't get to talk about... You didn't get to even talk about your thing, did you? That was it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I wanted to see if y'all had... I, apparently, I have weird experiences. I don't know about weird. <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, different. No, not even different. Thomas is just more of a man than This is us. blowing my mind. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, Joe? <laughs> Yeah, I was here. Traeger Grill, the new egg. Yeah, green egg, new green egg. Green egg, whatever. Man, I want a green egg. I got 500 pounds of elk meat over there if you want to. And a black stone upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> what you got for everybody, Chris? What's it like? Almost August? Yeah. You know, another week, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess we'll stay out of the heat or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. We're in that, that heat dome. It's the hot. That heat dome, you know? The heat dome. No, it, it's a weather thing. Don't be afraid to ask for an assist if you think it's possible. That it'll get ask for assist? Assist. Assist. And, that's like a, a, a and it's You're saying and assist. And assist. Yeah. Don't, okay. Because Do A is a vowel, so you put not. afraid to ask for an assist. There you go. If you think something can come from it. Yeah, it's an assist because the vowel. Like but a, if you say a, a assist. Just don't say it like that or they'll think you're autistic. I don't touch my own penis. I have people do it for me. I ain't Bezos. <laughs> he probably does. Probably. Chokes it off with a special belt. I use a cock ring to pee. <laughs> he uses this. Yeah. And that would be terrible. Have to take out your Could Prince you? Albert every time. Oh, Dude, I about had yeah. to cut a cock ring off the other day. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I fucking couldn't get it off. We'll be here next week. <laughs> Tune in next week for that story. <laughs> what do you got, Thomas? I've never had that trouble. <laughs> you could just loop it up a little bit. I don't know how to take it. Is it a compliment or what? You I don't know. big, bro. <laughs> but it was, was it like, a, was my it? vein was like... <laughs> <laughs> Above that thing. Like and I a, was like, it's like a power vein. <laughs> I was worried. I was like, this, I'm going to blow the blood fucking out. thing up. That scene from Kung Pao where just shoots blood out the side of it. <laughs> I'm, I thought it was going to blow up like a fucking balloon. Well, what you, you, like, you couldn't get your finger under it just to get No, little... I could not get it off. And I thought I was going to have to get a knife or a pair of scissors and just go like, get it. Chop your I, dick off. And you could just like loop oh. it up a little bit and just slide it off. Dude, it it gave me like a rug burn to being it, on. It wasn't it wasn't lubed up good. I I didn't need what lube. Kind, what kind was it? I don't know. Something I got from Adam and Eve. Okay. Cheap one. That's I don't know. You saying that's why? I, I just Are you said, expert over here. Was it was it a one free gift? <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did it come in your discreet packaging? I've got a couple of those DVDs. Nice. Right, nice. We should play it. Uh, they're not on here. Is I that when we, did you come with that baby dildo you got? <laughs> what? Whoa, you when got you, a baby dildo? When you, no. bought the ba- when you bought the baby dildo. That's got to be tiny. Baby dildo? No, the baby dildo. The baby thing. You shove your ass. 
Oh, I thought we oh. were talking about like a baby dick dildo. Yeah, it's a keychain dildo. You keep it in your keychain. <laughs> well, it's travel size. What, what are the you fuck are we talking got, about? Uh, uh, Alex. Uh, tomorrow's my wife's birthday. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. She, uh, Ask her, her to hold your dick. Her friends are taking her to Vegas. Really? What the? Whoa. All really? right, congrats. They so, stole her idea. So good. For, yeah, so I hope you have a good time. Wait, you're not going to celebrate your birthday? It's all. This is a girl's trip. Oh. It's always a girl's trip, though. Because they all they went to Boston for one of them. They went to Puerto Rico for one of the other ones. Now they're going to Vegas for Taylor's. That's been nice. Where are they going for yours? Where are we going for yours? Yeah. Japan. 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 <laughs> you Let's all get her. You got Japan. your... You got your uh, I don't have a passport. Your, I'm yeah. going to get off and light a stogie and be like... I'm good to be home. Welcome back to home. <laughs> Taking it back. Do <laughs> you got the flag over your shoulder? Like, you can't tell me to put it out. I'm smoking it. <laughs> it's my world, and you just live we it used in to it. own this place. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna awaken the manifest destiny in me. Yeah, you go over to that sewer, the manhole cover that's got Wolverine in my it. My inner colon, <laughs> my inner colonizer is coming out. Sorry. I will never retire. Yeah. Well. I'll let you, yeah. We should figure out how much that trip's going to cost because it's Too probably much. out of all of our budgets. <laughs> so, where's our where's our fallback? Galveston, Texas. <laughs> Cuba. Flat. So I can see the site of 1934. Gatlinburg, game. Tennessee. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, please no. Hey, I like Gal- I like Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's we we fun. can go. We can I go like to that Airbnb that's haunted right, in like uh, Wake County. But it's not an everyday, th- every year thing. Don't go during a truck show or a car show. Yeah, that. Fuck that. Or just I've never been. It's busy. Like Whitewater rafting. That's fun. It's though. one of the few places I've never been. You've never been to Gatlinburg? It's worth been to Myrtle Beach. I've been to Myrtle Beach. Then you've been to it. Let's yeah. go to Disney World. It'd be worth taking. No. Or, 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 oh, I'm going to Orlando on Thanksgiving. That's where I'm going. On the books? On the books? On the books. Is it on the books? Yeah. For officially going, or do you still have to plan it by Most tickets? Most one dies or has a medical issue but everything's paid for already okay okay good oh, that's and, uh, cool or, um universal nice not disney not disney why you're right down they the want line. universal hmm. universal's cool yeah. yeah it's be more fun for an adult new york let's go to new york fuck that <laughs> what what's in new york i know some people buildings we know, me and alex know some people in new york we, we know a guy named raymond we go see, <laughs> does go he see, live on the streets <laughs> go see tower seven no he uh has a house yeah, I want to go just see. I want to go visit the site of Tower Seven. Be like, I don't know what happened. Go to Central Park, live there, so they camp out there in a, in the woods. That'd Central be cool, Park, dude. Just out. go to Central Park and try to camp. See you how long stabbed. we can. <laughs> Not us. Alex is ready. <laughs> Seven knives. It, it gives off. us all one. I hate that that stereotype. Like I carry <laughs> so many guns. How many knives do you have? Yeah, hey, call your blade. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. Oh, what, you got like I carry knife? like two. This and like a slip joint. Oh, I don't okay. have a fucking. I don't open my coat jacket, and it's like fucking uh, the guy from The Mummy with a fucking roll of weapons. How many do you have in your truck? Four, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple fix. It's all right. They're not on my person. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, okay. I rotate my... I ain't gonna go down that route. <laughs> yeah, that's another problem. Like, you keep them in rotation, right? Your everyday carry constantly changes. Yeah. yeah. That's good. You that's never, good. That's good. Never get old. Just like people with a bunch of guns, they rotate their guns. I do it by night. Well, I don't. I've never done that either. I've seen a bunch of people. I've just like I follow some guys on Instagram. They're <laughs> like you, but with guns. Yes, and that's a little, little over, little much. That's a little. They're much. a little over much. <laughs> but you do the same. That's what I'm saying. I'm a little much compared to like we're both the same. Oh, like, yeah, but the gun people, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. It's but true. some of your knives are pretty expensive. Not as much as a gun, probably. Probably more. Some than of them cost as much as a gun. Yeah, it depends. Oh. Well, I can, my, but it retains value, so if I want to sell it, I can get I mean, money back. Elizabeth's pistol was like two hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah, I got something that costs twice as much as that. Yeah. Anyways, that's cool. You know, teach your own. You know, if you want, got other thing. If yeah. you want someone to help you pee, then you're probably in a retirement home, or you're Thomas, or you're Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Living life on the edge, I guess. How can how can they get a hold <laughs> of us, Thomas? Yeah, so. Uh, Hope everybody enjoyed the show. Alex is showing off one of his knives. Uh, yeah, that was Tech Lab. You can uh, check us out on YouTube to see the full video. Uh, you can also check us out and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, check out TikTok. We do a couple things. We got a new video out there. Oh, yeah. Thomas took a plop into the face. Yeah. Port a pop. Yeah. So there's some cool things. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, if you want to email us, you can. It's tacklabpod at gmail.com. That's T A C T L A B P O D at gmail.com. Make sure you leave us a comment, drop us a line, rate us, review us, subscribe, like, do all the fucking things. Talk to us. We're, we Thanks. want to talk to our Thanks. fans. Thanks. going to. How about this? Go to Facebook. Don't talk to us. Don't send us any messages. Yeah. Don't do anything. Fuck you. Don't. Because you won't do it. You ain't bad. Fuck you, bitch. You ain't bad. I don't think anybody listens to this part of the segment anyway. Suck on they, Like, dick. they hear the music and they're like, okay, cool, episode's over. Yeah. Suck on Thomas's dick, bitch. They probably make it past the intro song cut off and hear the <laughs> screaming. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's like, <laughs> din, 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 They're like, din, din. I'm, I can't, Done. I can't, I can't. So, yeah. Uh, hope everybody has a good day and thanks for listening, everybody. Goodbye. Yeah, I snuck up on you that time. Big booty bitches. <laughs>